right, here we are. Another uh, forex pair, and that pair is the odd versus New Zealand dollar. The Australian dollar versus the New Zealand dollar. 10 years data, monthly candles, and this is a nice chart. Let's just see what I have here. We have some resistance at the, there we go, at the 130, 113.85. Here's my support. Okay, those always trace out the the upper boundaries and then I see if it's a pattern within that let's say symmetrical triangle or a channel some things of the sort and that's been going on for one two three years that's a nice three year uh, base as before we had the uh, and look at this nice top back here in the July 2009 let's say one year two years three years wow nice three years and a half top we had back here not a big fan of these uh, slanted lines, uh, supports or resistance or breakout lines. So what I could have done is look for a more intermediate pattern with a flat, uh, breakdown line. Look at that. There you go. Look at that. And I would have been more conservative and I would have used hindsight's 2020, not super duper. But uh, on breakouts or breakdowns, what's important is to uh, correctly or identify the candle that is the official like uh, breakdown candle. And that's where you get your most uh, velocity out of that move, out of the pattern, and your sell stop will protect you if you choose the wrong candle and finally you're just uh, floating sideways then you have a chance of having a candle that's going to come in and uh, trigger you out so right now let's say i forget that there was this big move hi 126.81 126.83. Oof, it would have been triggered out here. Put yourself up on top of that candle. And two pips, 126.83, you would have been triggered out. And then after that, the following month, you would have went down all the way here. Would you have re-entered? You could have 1% money management on your risk per trade. And so the pain is not that bad. If, say, you get your timing off, if you went into a stock that was in an A++, and, and if sometimes, you, just because you look at a chart, it has it probably morphed into what it's supposed to be. And you jump the gun, That's where your 1% uh, money management protects you. Let's we'll just see, we'll try to be, remove the notion, the notion of uh, hindsight. And this is what it would look like back in uh, January uh, or mid uh, 2013. There's the no bearish divergence there. Lower lows, lower lower highs, lower highs. 
All right. So you could have had a chance here. You could have had a. Uh, like we just saw this breakout here. It would have been failed. It would have came back, and uh, you would have got whipsawed there. But after that, if you kept uh, looking at it and not get emotional or frustrated about uh, that setup, you could have decided that this was the. You were just off by two months for the the real breakdown cattle. Two months is a lot of time. You could have forgot about uh, the odd new, new Zealand dollar, moved on, and you know what? That's fine also. There's uh, other setups, and um, you could have seen uh, other A++ better setups than this one. All right, so let's just uh, roll down all the way to today. And I'm just trying to get back my 10 years. There you go. Here's my 10 years worth of candles. Do, do, do. Get rid of that. There we go. So, right now, today, what we have is there's probably like a small breakdown here. Get rid of these. All right here. Which is happening right now. A little uh, sideways action, and if we close below this, uh, the 108 line, measure and move all the way down here to the 105.43 line. So we could be ranging for a little while here. I don't know um, what I would like me is to break out above uh, this uh, 113.85 or 114 level or below the 101 level. On a horizontal uh, breakdown line or breakout. I'm just going to set some alerts at these important levels. You can't force a chart. Sometimes look at a chart and you want to see the patterns that you used to see that will give you A++ setups. Like if they're not there and uh, you don't have those, those many tests like right close to the breakout time or breakdown time and you don't trust... Uh, the support or resistance signs you you drew then uh, don't play it just wait go go look at another chart because if you choose the wrong uh, breakdown candle or breakout then uh, it doesn't mean the trade's not going to go in your favor but you could be in the trade longer than you wanted because you don't have the velocity of that imminent of that breakout official breakout and you could get whipsawed even on monthly candles it's very possible to get whipsawed if you're not if your timing is not a good on the on the uh, on the breakout moment. All right, set my alerts. Annual is land right here. The target here, and I and we'll come back when the, either that target's reached or the the price reverts back here, and like a few more candles. The chart's gonna look a whole lot different if here we have another test here. At the 103.75, I'm just going to forget about this as a uh, as my real support. I'm just going to focus more on this one year, uh, one year and a half uh, formation right here. And c that could just be my move, right? Imagine, forget all that. Let's say this year here. This because it always you have to be careful, right? When you have a chart. This looks like a top, this looks like a stage four, a downward trend, this looks like a, a, a bottom or a base, but it's all relative. This could have been, a, there's no reason why the, the price action can't go here, so this could actually look like a, a, a continuation and a, a top. If you wouldn't know what the action was there before, just continuation, a consolidation pattern going down. And if you wanna be really imaginative, you could even make a case that you could have had a head and shoulders here. Left shoulder, head, maybe another shoulder here, right shoulder. And that could be the actual move all the way to 95. Wow. Okay. Set the alert there. Now things could happen. When you're not sure, just put a whole bunch of alerts at these key levels and come back to it when it's really ready. And the more you practice, the more you'll find out that uh, you'll get a feel 
and you, you'll get a you'll know when it, it's time to uh, what's an A plus plus setup. Just to keep practicing, keep practicing, and what? Oh yeah, that's it. Keep practicing. Ciao.